All right, so I think that's something that really helped me to stand out when I applied to graduate school is that I was very intentional, both through the interactions that I had with faculty prior to applying, but then also within my statement of purpose about outlining experiments that I had learned about through reading their papers, et cetera, um, and then tying those directly to experiments that I had performed in undergraduate research. So for example, if they say that they work with small molecules, then I would say that I've synthesized X and X small molecule uh, during my undergraduate research. Or if they say that they work with certain cell lines and I outline that, you know, I've also worked with these cell lines uh, through my undergraduate research because I think that the strongest applicants at the end of the day are going to be those who can show that they are prepared to perform research at the graduate school level. So that's my advice. Let's go ahead and hear about what everyone else has to say. All right, let's check it out. So the question that my good friend Tyson asked me was, what do I think really made my graduate school application stand out? And... I think it really had to do with the recommendation letter that I was written by my undergraduate research advisor. I spent four years in her group, all four years at undergrad, and we ended up forming a very good relationship. And I think it was really through her support that my application stood out. So much appreciation to uh, Professor Kaufman at Columbia University. When I was applying for graduate school, I think what really stood out about my application was my overall well-roundedness. In my application and in my personal statement, I was able to talk about my love for science. And of course, this was backed up by my grades as well as my involvement in research opportunities on and off campus. But in addition to that, I talked about other things that I did. Um, for example, I was the president of the Black Student Union as an undergrad. I also participated in a number of mentorship and volunteer opportunities. And I think that this really showed that first and foremost, I'm a person and that science is one aspect of my personal identity. Hi everyone, um, my name is Andrea. I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Pennsylvania. And when I think about the question, um, what put my application over the edge, I think I have to say my personal statement. So I tried my best to convey the passion I had for science and my honest interest in pursuing a career in science. Um, so yeah, personal statement. But into it, ugh. Oh my god. I'm not really sure that there was any one thing that pushed my my graduate school application over the edge. I think overall I had a really strong package. Together the ap the application package as a holistic thing is important. I had pretty good grades, pretty good GRE scores, um, I had good letters of recommendation from the research that I was able to do. Um, but also I had a like a strong history of um, really great extracurricular work that I did like um, you know, leading the Society of Physics students um, in undergrad and also uh, forming a really awesome student group called Tesla Works. So I think together what pushed my package over the edge was that I was really, really well-rounded and, and sort of good on all levels. Um, and it's an important point that, you know, uh, applications are judged holistically. So you don't need to have a 4.0 or a perfect GRE but, but really, if the whole package is good, you will do really well. Hey fellow scientists, I'm Dr. Katie Skull. I am a postdoctoral fellow at the University of Michigan, and I received my PhD about a year ago uh, from the University of Alabama at Birmingham. My biggest piece of advice for you guys applying for graduate school is to not be afraid to reach out to potential mentors at the institutes where you're applying before you actually go and interview. This can create connections early on that may help you get into the program. And it also facilitates you meeting up with them when you get to the actual interview stage. It shows that you're really curious and excited about the program and the labs you could potentially join. What helped my application the most was my research experience. I had about two and a half years of research training from my home institution, which was primarily undergrad. And I also had the opportunity to do uh, an outside summer research experience. Um, and I think these two uh, experiences also led to great letters of recommendation from PIs who were willing to support me. Hi, my name is Liz. I am a fifth year grad student in the Cell Molecular Developmental Biology and Biophysics program at Johns Hopkins University. When applying to grad school, I think that my letters of recommendation are what put my application over the edge. I built strong and lasting relationships with my mentors, and this allowed them to speak 
honestly about who I am as a person. Hello. Um, yo, Tyson, what's up? Uh, make sure you edit shit so I look nice and pretty, right? Okay, cool. Uh, with respect to what put my graduate school application over the edge, I would have to say it's a combination of my letters of recommendation and my GPA. I can tell you for sure that it was not my GRE scores that helped me get to where I am now. As someone who went to a small liberal arts college where I really got to know my professors, I think that helped a lot um, with getting my rec letters strong. So my best advice to all of you who are applying now is really get to know the people who are going to be writing your rec letters. It definitely makes a difference. What made my PhD application stand out, in my opinion, was my personal statement. I spent part of my childhood in Ghana, and there on the weekends, sometimes I'd help out in my family pharmacy. In my personal statement, I talked about my curiosity as a child as I watched the cell pills and wondering what about them helped treat disease or sometimes even cure it. So I used this as a theme throughout to talk about my passion for science and what drives me. And then I ended it with a hope that one day I will be part of a team that helps treat some disease. So the thing that I think really put my application over the edge for graduate school was my research experience. I didn't do a whole lot of research on campus, but instead I made up for that by doing research at different institutions over the summer in RU programs. I did one at Northwestern University, which was in sort of inorganic chemistry doing some nanoparticle synthesis. Then I did one at Brown University doing some organic synthesis and uh, antibacterial testing. And then I did one at the Broad Institute, which was in the field of um, designing and testing inhibitors for, P for um, tuberculosis. Oh, man, I mean to start that. The one thing I did is I was sort of thinking ahead when I was a younger undergraduate, and I decided to do uh, two different research internships uh, abroad, one in Sweden and one in Germany, in um, sort of similar areas of lab research to what I was interested in doing when I applied to grad school. And I think this definitely helped set my application uh, apart from others and showed my commitment uh, to that type of uh, biomedical research. And in terms of um, also your specific application, when writing about that in my personal statement, I definitely emphasized how those specific research experiences led me uh, not just to be a candidate with my own right, but also led me to fit in really well with that grad school that I was applying to. I think what put my grad school applications over the edge when I was applying was having a really solid and strong relationship with a professor whose lab I worked in throughout my undergrad who ultimately wrote me a letter of recommendation and who today is still writing me letters of recommendation. I am a first generation college student and when I came into my undergrad I had no idea how to do research and I definitely didn't know that I wanted to go to grad school. And so I think having a mentor who really helped me grow and watched me learn how to ask better questions and become a better scientist over the years was really instrumental in me getting to grad school. There are two things that helped me to get into grad school. The first is mentorship. I interned with an excellent mentor that helped me to prepare for grad school and that was extremely helpful. The second thing is the mindset and the attitude that I put myself into when I applied. I was basically convinced that I was going to be a scientist one day and my application was definitely focusing on what I was coming to offer more than what I was coming to take. And then I did one at the Broad Institute which was in the, uh, in the, the, the field of... Um... What's going on Tyson? My name is Chris. I'm a physics PhD candidate at Yale University. And in hindsight, I would say that one of the things that helped me out the most when applying to grad school was having a diverse research experience. I worked in three different labs throughout undergrad in three different fields. And I think what that gave me was a broad exposure to a lot of science, but also importantly, I got recommendation letters from three different professors that were all able to speak to my ability to work in a group. I think that helped me a lot. Hi, I'm Sebastian and I'm a graduate student in chemistry at UC Berkeley. I would say that the things that help my application stand out were having research, teaching, as well as outreach experience, um, having rec letters from professors that knew me beyond the superficial level, and having a clear personal statement where I talked about what my goals were and how grad school would help me achieve those goals. 
we do it with the reindeer or without the reindeer? Your choice. I, I like the reindeer. I think the reindeer is not distracting at all. And they'll, no, totally not. They'll definitely remember my advice now with the reindeer. I can tell you that. Okay, we'll do it with you.